All right, we're trapping traveling beavers, you guys. Got this river flow through. They've been cutting trees here. This whole river system has beaver in it, you guys. The adult beaver are kicking the little ones out of the lodge, so so we could definitely catch a you know a big big beaver, or there's a good chance we'll catch one of these traveling beavers, like a two-year-old that they're gonna kick out of the lodge. So I got a natural caster mount here that I'm gonna probably use. I'm just gonna do a little shenanigans here. It's always nice to have a good, you know, a good uh, spot to put your trap, okay? I, ooh, I'm just going to kind of cut out a little spot here, nothing crazy. Just an indentation that looks a little more inviting to the beaver to go up and land on, okay? can't see everything I'm doing here because my GoPro but I'm trying my best Root. That ain't bad actually at all I'm trying to make a little landing here you guys so I'm actually gonna I am gonna reach down into the bottom here and pick up some mud some peeled sticks and Gonna slather it up up the bank here. I'm actually gonna do this in two spots here. One right there. Beaver can put a front foot in that trap right there. That's the plan anyway. I think I'm gonna do another one right next to it. Think boom. They might come up to this side of it though. Huh. Let's see here. The only problem is a lot of this is still frozen, you guys. So it makes it a little more difficult to set these traps. I think. All right, you guys. I just, ooh, just chopped out a couple spots here where the beaver are gonna come up. It's kind of a double, a double huskadoo set. So I'm gonna call it. Just kidding. I do with my T bar sticks. Okay, I got two footholds here. I'm gonna put in the in the reaver. Here has a pretty long chain on it. Check this guy. Somewhere. Oh, there we go. Get that guy way down into the bottom of the mud. I can in here there we go. Got the stake in there. 
set this trap. Your fives are a strong trap. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to turn that sideways. There we go. Ow! Oh. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Got my thumb in that. Oof, duh, that hurt. Thumb is numb. Thumb is numb. <laughs> you guys, to say the least. Go like that. Boy, that thumb is sore. Okay. Ooh, boy. Okay. Got my other trap here, you guys, finally. guy here is going to go right, <laughs> right here, but I want to turn that around a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay, those guys are set. My thumb's still really sore. Oh. Mm. Okay, there we go. Both these traps are set. That one's good. This one, eh, we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring this one back just a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go, boys. Hope we got a double tomorrow there in Beaver. Right, we're back for check number one trying to get these traveling beaver got a couple footholds set right about there in this river I'm gonna keep on plug, plugging up the creek here up and down the side so hopefully we can pick off one or two okay you can see they cut everywhere around here there's got to be a big lodge someplace um, Trap, oh no, one trap is sprung, the other one's right there. Or one trap is sprung, the other one's gone. Oh, there's a beaver. I can see one beaver down there. Gosh, huh, that's too bad.
well. One, one beaver's better than no beaver. Oh, it's a little guy too. A really little guy. Huh. And this one here, there's just nothing in it. That stinks. <laughs> Wonder what happened with that. Well, I guess one beaver's better than no beaver, you guys. Little guy. I'm kind of disappointed with sprung trap here, but what do you do? Hmm. All right, well, I guess I'm going to reset these. We'll be back tomorrow. All right, you guys. We're here again trying to catch these traveling beavers. Like I said, there's no... You can see they've, they've cut... They've cut a bunch of places. There's castor melons and stuff here. So there's got to be a lodge somewhere down the river here. But we're, instead of going down trying to find this lodge, because in this stretch of the river, it's all muddy and silty. So the plan is, instead of chasing after them, to bring them to us. It rained last night quite a bit. You can see the caster's gone off these sticks. But... It did not disappear before we had the chance to catch a beaver. So we got a little one yesterday out of here and another little one today. I'm kind of, I keep wondering where the big ones are, right? We're going to get a big one. Huh. Yeah. Back foot catching this on this beaver. Um, that's right. We're going to leave them out here for three or four more days. And hopefully tomorrow, now when we show up, we'll have a big one in one of these sets. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo guys, what's up? So we are back today. We have made two checks here so far. Two small beavers. And I was just talking yesterday. I said, Gary, so where the heck are the big beavers at? Well, guess where they're at today? They're at the end of the drowning rods. I just looking, it looks like we got a double on big beaver, you guys. This is freaking awesome. Epic is the word I'm going to use for it. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess it isn't a big beaver. Oh, darn it. <laughs> it's a small beaver. Maybe we got a double on small beaver, you guys. Oh, gosh. It looked bigger than that. That's a big beaver. Oh, it's a bigger, probably a two-year-old. Look at that. Tail's already getting scarred up. Actually, it's probably from last year, but scarred up and bit up a little bit. Both, these are both Bridger number fives, you guys. And uh, just let you know, I, I've been using this Bearded Man Beaver Lure this spring, and it has just been kicking ass. Front foot catch. Front foot catch, you guys. Awesome. Double. It's always fun getting a double like that. That's why when you're, you know, when you're doing a river set like this, you know, put one across from each other or do them side by side, there's a good chance you're going to pick up two beaver, you guys. Sweet. All right, well, we'll be back with tomorrow's check. Well, we didn't end up with a ton of beaver from that spot. Four, not too bad, not too bad. Three small ones and a large one. There had to have been a colony really close to that area because the small ones this time of year don't generally travel way up and down those creeks like that. Rivers, whatever you want to call it, river, because it was definitely not a creek. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, um, basically, you know, you guys, that's how you can target traveling beaver. Just find any flowing creek, river, that is connected to some areas that have beaver in them. Because this time of year, the adults are kicking the two-year-olds out, and they're traveling to find their own place to live to, to establish their own colony. So generally, you're not going to pick up a ton of, like, big, big beaver, you're going to get a lot of those 35 to 40 pound beaver, but you'll occasionally pick up a big one that's traveling marking territory. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share, subscribe. Peace out. I was angry.